coach Aaron from Mini Hops Gymnastics. I'm the trampoline and tumbling coach here. If you'd like to interact with us live and in real time, we do offer Zoom classes, so check out the description of this video for the link to go find out more about that. Now today, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about power hurdles. Now power hurdles are one of our first things that we do when we start wanting to gain more power into our tumbling. It's a way to do it in a short amount of space but it's less difficult than running and having to transition from a run to a tumbling element like a round off, a cartwheel, uh, or something like that. So to start out a basic power hurdle, we're gonna start with our feet close together. We're gonna look straight ahead. We're gonna bend our knees, swing our arms back, and then we're going to broad jump out to a hurdle position with our arms up by our ears and one foot a leg bent in front of us and the other one ready and that will allow us to go in more powerfully to our round off or our cartwheel so like I said it's less difficult when I have to run and hurdle and start that's a lot of moving parts that can go you know that that need practice but a power hurdle allows us to do it with a little bit less motion how do we start off with a power hurdle? Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to be able to skip. So we have to be able to get that step and hop, step and hop, step and hop, because that's our hurdle motion is that skipping motion. So if you can't skip yet, or if you haven't skipped in a long time and you're a little out of practice, work on that a little bit. The next thing we wanna do, and it's a great exercise for giving us more power for a lot of other things, is our broad jump where we start with our feet fairly close together they don't have to be touching but fairly close and then we lean forward and we swing our arms and jump out that's going to give us a lot of power and the and the farther we can jump out the more powerful our power hurdle is going to be so as we're doing this and we want to use some good exercises for this our first one again is that skip and we want to skip we want it to go long we don't want to skip up really high uh, because we'll lose our momentum that'll allow us to tumble later on after the power hurdle but we also want to gain a lot of power from that arm swing so as we're practicing that we want to jump out and swing our arms really hard up to our ears that also puts our arms in the right position to go into our cartwheel or into our round off. Uh, we want to be powerful with our toes. So we can start off with an exercise where we just put our hands up above our head and without bending our knees or bending them very, very little, we try to push off and just try to push off. I'll try to back up a little bit here so you can see it, but just with a little beat knee bent and try to jump as high as we can just using our ankles. And then we can do that, adding in a bend and jumping up using our knees more and then we can add in our arms. So we swing backwards, bend our knees, and jump as high as we can. Now you can make this a little bit more fun by giving it a little bit of a challenge. You could give yourself a box to jump up onto or something solid, a step, a bench, anything that's not gonna fall over on you when you hit it or when you jump up onto it. Uh, and you can see how high you can get. This is gonna make you stronger for a lot of other things too, like when you start learning how to do standing back tucks or you're trying to get more height on a trampoline bounce you can also to make it more realistic to going long is you can put something out in front of you and try to make that broad jump go over that line and just as you get stronger and stronger keep moving the line farther and farther away and you can start out landing on two feet that's okay just trying to get that broad jump and then once you start getting a little bit more used to broad jumping to your hurdle to your uh, lunge position then you can start adding that into it and then on the back end of that then you just can start doing that broad jump to hurdle the power hurdle and going into that cartwheel hopefully uh, you'll see it on this where we'll just go here we'll power hurdle I went off screen there but uh, eventually, once we get really good at this, then we start adding the run into it, hurdling, and uh, going from there into a lot of our other more advanced tricks. 
Uh, again, thank you very much for taking a few moments to watch this video. Please, we want to interact with you on social media, so uh, if you post videos or pictures of yourself, make sure to use hashtag virtualmhg. We'd love to see you. Uh, and again, don't forget about our Zoom classes in the description of the video. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.